What's going on, everyone? My name is Benny No, and we are back with Benny No's Road to the Show. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a PS5 now. That's right. The gameplay you are seeing right now is from the PS5. I'm super excited. Um, it took me a long time to get a PS5, but I finally got one. And I'm going to talk to you guys right now about how I went about getting it and uh, how I got it. Uh, before we start the daily video, daily double uploads every day, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific, and 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. And then don't forget that when MLB The Show 21 comes out, triple daily uploads, baby. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of Benny No gameplay, a lot of Lumpy and Benny No gameplay. You're going to see a lot of Lumpy baseball games, a lot of Lumpy practices as the baseball season is starting and things are starting to open up here in California, which is awesome. Here we go. First at bat. Let's see if we can hit a home run on the PS5. You can tell I got the PS5 because all these tutorials are going to be popping up. And I'm going to have to disable them the first time they pop up. Here we go. This is actually game two in this MLB series. Uh, uh, real quick. Uh, I wasn't able to save the road to the show from my PS4. Luckily, there was a saved point in the cloud that was back in July. So this is the 2021 season, but all of the stuff that happened before didn't carry over. I'm not sure if you guys actually follow that, but if you do, that stuff did not carry over. But okay, so how did I... Uh, oh yeah, I got to remember, I don't really like base running, but uh, let's, let's, let's try to steal a base here. This should be a lot of fun. I don't have blazing speed, but I have quick reactions. And well, I wouldn't call it quick reactions. That is a base hit, though. I think I'm going to get to third. And I am in there safe. Okay. Finally, some positive base running aggressive points. Um, yeah, like I said, though, so if you guys follow that, what happened before, my apologies. Uh, going forward, everything will be in order and, and in the right spot. So, uh, yeah, how you guys are like, yeah, so... PS5s are very hard to get right now. Um, I don't know what the deal is, but I've been trying, you guys know, since back in December to get one for Lumpy when he hit, uh, when he beat me at golf and he finally won and I got him a PS5, but I didn't buy it, man. I got very fortunate that my good friend Bobby uh, was smart enough to go and buy them when they were actually uh, taking orders for them. In my mind, I was like, you know what, whatever, I'll get one. They're going to be available all over the place, right? Well, that didn't work out. So the only ones that had them were those smart enough to actually pre-order them. And luckily, my good friend Bobby pre-ordered a couple of them and uh, gave one to Lumpy on my behalf. So I love you, Bobby, if you guys didn't know that. but So how did I get my PS5s, you guys are wondering? Um, I actually got two because I had to get one for my nephew as well. So... Basically, what you got to do is go, there's a website called Now in Stock. You got to find the PS5 Now in Stock webpage. And what it does is it has listings of every single site that sells PS5s. And as soon as they have stock, it gives you a notification on your computer. You go to that place to try to get the, the, the PS5. And hopefully you're lucky enough to, to get one. Um, every time they drop, they would drop uh, for like five, ten minutes, and then boom, done. So basically what happened was Walmart had a drop, and I discovered that to actually have a chance to get a PS5, you need to have not only uh, the app in your phone, but you also need to have your account created and all of your billing and payment information in there so that when it comes time to click checkout and everything, everything is already done. And... That you need to have preset, you need to have a Walmart account or whatever site you're trying to buy it from to have a shot to get the PS5s because as soon as they go on sale, everyone knows and everyone jumps on them. So that is why they're so hard to get because there are people out there that are literally on their computers 24-7 waiting for these things to come out. Some of them are scalpers, some of them are people like me who really wanted a PS5. I don't even know really why I wanted a PS5. Um, to be honest, because it's, I mean, there's not that many games available for it, and a majority of the game I play is MLB The Show, which I already get pretty good graphics on the PS4. That being said, <clears throat> after Lumpy got his PS5, I noticed just how quiet and fast and fluid the gameplay was. So, of course, I want a PS5, so I was on a mission to get one. So, luckily, uh, what happened was, is on March 4th, Walmart released... 
a bunch of PS5s and they came in waves. They would come every 10 minutes, they would release new ones. So what would happen is you would get into the to the seat to the part of the as my camera goes out of focus. <laughs> Let me try to focus my face before I there we go. Okay. So Walmart would drop them. You would get it in your cart and then you couldn't go any further. So <clears throat> what would happen is is I figured out that when that wave, the next wave of their drop starts, you don't want to leave that window. Leave it there where it's in your cart. It might not get you to check out, but as long as you have it in your cart, when the next wave comes out, you just keep pressing check out and eventually you will get through. But the point is, is to get to that spot where it's in your cart and then don't close that window. Don't refresh it or anything. Just leave it there until you start noticing their... Uh, you're going to notice like every every 10 minutes in Walmart it was that they would release. So following that advice and then monitoring the chat in the PS uh, in the in stock PS5 website, I got to see okay, people are buying them. So bam, boom boom boom, boom kept hitting checkout, got lucky and got one. Now here's the crazy thing. <laughs> I bought it on March 4th, but it wasn't supposed to be delivered by Walmart until April 10th. So more than a month out before I could even get the PS5. Well, as luck would have it, man, on March 10th, which it happened to be the birthday of my good friend uh, Bradley Cooper, I got an email in the morning saying my PS5 had shipped and it would be here today. It showed up at 1 p.m. on March 10th on my friend Coop's birthday. And I have no doubt that he had some small... <laughs> thing going with getting me my ps5 so that's how i got the ps5 if you guys don't have a ps5 i wish you guys all the luck in the world and i hope you get one because uh honestly i, I from what i'm reading online i don't really think these things are going to be available like in, a, in a, like how we're used to seeing things where you can just walk into a store and pick up one so really gotta work on my lighting here i think it's this light back here that's killing uh killing the focus but yeah, anyway here we go Ooh, what am i doing here so i noticed right away there's an adjustment period this, this is my first time playing the ps5 mlb the show in a long time i have played on lumpy's ps5 before but i gotta get my wits about me um because there is you know the timing and everything's different so uh that's I'm, that's an excuse really I'm, <laughs> i just haven't been hitting home runs really i don't know why but um yeah, so PS5, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys get one. I, I wish you guys the best of luck. Um, the PS5, from my experience, is a faster, quieter experience. No, la very, not too much wait time in between games when they're loading. I notice when I play Fortnite, it doesn't take three minutes for the game to load. It loads pretty quickly. Um, I did play Fortnite last night, which was cool. But um, yeah, PS5, I got one. I hope you guys get one, like I said, soon, because they are they are a lot of fun. And if you don't have one, if you're an Xbox user, I hope you get the new Xbox, because uh, I can't wait. Now I'm excited. I got this. I could finally, I'm excited to try the, the Stadium Creator. Now that we have the next-gen console, double play from Benny, no, right there. But already, I could tell, I'm not sure how it's going to come out yet on the video, but in the gameplay and on my gaming monitor, the, the everything is fluid, man. It looks borderline like it's live which is really cool man all right we usually play two games in these videos and we're gonna jump into the next one here we go game two in this video and this one might be a little longer because i still have to adjust the settings right now it's set for benny no to play every single play that he would be in and um i, I kind of liked it how and apparently i was the triple crown winner last year <laughs> i like it where i take all of my bats have uh my fielding plays but I don't really like the base running. Let me know in your comment. Do you guys want to see all this stuff? What it means is basically we're going to have longer longer videos because uh, I want to show you the whole part of the game. And from what we just saw, that first game took like eight or nine minutes. So if you guys don't mind 15, 16-minute videos, I don't mind making them. <laughs> so here we go, baby. But, I mean, that, that, that being said, I need to hit a home run. This has been long enough. I don't think I hit a home run in the opening day game either. Obviously, back in the World Series, Benny No did not hit any any home runs, so uh, that's going to be a tough throw. There we go. We got it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, um, probably going to change it before, but let me know in the comments if you guys like it like that. Here we go. Striding to the plate, dynamic challenge time, and we're going to advance the runner within the first three pitches because I am impatient and I want to swing and go away. So here we go. Two to two tie. Let's see if we can knock one into that pool. 
Be smart. That's off the plate. And uh, during bed, yeah, I'm tired of these interruptions. Hopefully they stop soon. I <laughs> think we got to go through all of them. So here we go. Looking for our first home run. Actually looking for our first hit of the day. Oh, there's a good pitch there. And that's going to be an out. Darn it, man. Oh, okay. And the dog's going crazy. And Lumpy is here. What's up, my man? Good morning, my man. Yes. There's too much internet because I'm trying to play solo. Well, I'm working on a video, my man, so you're going to have to wait. <laughs> Lumpy coming in here and telling me to get off the internet because he's playing solos and apparently me recording. And I'm not even live on the internet, my man, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. This is Road to the Show. All right, here we go. Three no, to three. I cannot ready you because you're playing on the internet on PlayStation. I'm not on the internet, my man. You're tripping. Your game is messed up. Maybe restart your PS5. Oh, look at that, man. I'm not even paying attention. I just got hogged at second. Okay, my man, go get ready for school. Okay, you should, my PlayStation. You shouldn't be playing with your PlayStation. You should be getting ready for school. Here we go. Bottom of the sixth. Oh, my God. We're getting destroyed 9-3. to three. And um, I still haven't hit a home run yet. What is going on, man? Okay, here we go. That should be an easy-peasy out here at second. Oh, I guess it wasn't as easy-peasy as I thought. But it definitely worked out. All right, let's go. Get back to bat right here. We're in the seventh. I'm actually going to use the power swing here. Let's see if we can actually get a hit. Serve it up. Nope, that's off the plate. Okay, all right. Big Zach Granky at the dish throwing some cheese. If he brings one over the plate, we're going to send it into the pool. Here we go. Ooh, well, didn't send it in the pool, but almost took off Granky's leg there. And there we go. That's our first hit of this game, finally. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't need to see a replay. We're only going to watch replays of home runs. But here we go. We're on the bases here. Two outs. Cody Bellinger, what is he going to do? Ooh, we got a nice shot of the first baseman. <laughs> and Benny No. And that's going to end the inning. Okay. All right. Are we going to get another at bat? I sure hope so, man. I want to hit another bomb. Okay. Well, no. Bottom of the seventh. One out. Nobody on. We're getting destroyed 11 to 3, man. Jeez. How is that happening with the Arizona Diamondbacks? Uh, make that throw. This Dodger team is so stacked. They shouldn't be losing to this team 11 to 3. But it is the first part of the season, though. So here we go. Another fielding play. Bottom of the seventh. Let's see what is going to happen. Looks like we have Jake. I'm not even sure how you pronounce that. I'm not going to even try. Here we go. Oh, what a play. Turn around, step throw. He took a couple jogs into the outfield just for the kicks. <laughs> Benny, no, what a play. All right, man. Let's go. Top of the ninth. All right, we got a chance to hit a three-run home run. Is it going to happen here? Let's go, sir. Oh, come on. That one is not going to get out, but it is going to get down. And one run is going to score. Two runs are going to score, which means I'm coming to third. Here comes the throw, and I'm hosed. But we got a couple runs. Game's over. Arizona wins. A lot of fun, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.